Laurie Brett reveals if she will return to EastEnders as Jane Beale. The actress, 52, on starring in a thriller stage play, running away to join the circus and her friends from EastEnders. It's deja vu, but I couldn't be happier. Adam and I always had a certain chemistry from day one, when we first started working together in EastEnders. I think that's why Jane and Ian Beale lasted so long. We've stayed in touch over the four years since I left the show. Working with Adam is always a pleasure. We know what each other is thinking, whereas with some people it's not so easy. Probably Adam suggested it. I've worked with the producer before when I was in the stage adaptation of Kay Meller's Band of Gold. I'm sure they put their heads together and came up with me. My daughter is 10, and I'm aware that I've only got a couple of years before there'll be doors slamming in my face. I want to make the most of this opportunity to be around her while she still wants me to be. It's a crime thriller. Tom and Kelly Bryce are a pretty normal married couple and Tom finds a memory stick on the seat of a train. He brings it home and with good intentions tries to find out what's on it, but that takes them on a rollercoaster journey. Tom inadvertently becomes witness to a murder. Things escalate and he and his family end up in danger. There are lots of ups and downs and twists. I can normally always tell we done it, but I didn't get this. It's a genre that the public absolutely love, and I'm one of them. I can't wait for the next crime drama to come out. It broke my heart when Line of Duty finished. It's inevitable that people will say, oh, it's Ian and Jane on stage. There are similarities between all couples who have been married a long time. However, the characters are quite different. Jane was a doer, but Kelly is an unfulfilled woman. She doesn't work, and she's missed a lot of her potential. And Tom is a lot stronger character than Ian. I loved Jane and I loved working there, and it would be like putting on an old pair of slippers. If I was free and they wanted me back, who knows? If you've not been killed off then there's always the possibility of a return. I have nothing but great memories of that show, and the viewers took Jane into their hearts. She was an everywoman. The workload got on top of me. I'd left, had a baby, and then went back when she was four months old. I left EastEnders and went to Waterloo Road. Then I was doing both EastEnders and Waterloo Road and I think I burnt out. My daughter was growing up and by the time she was six she was saying, I don't want you to go to work, mummy. I had to get a bit of work-life balance. Nobody knows where Ian Beale has gone, but if he's anywhere he's with Jane. They're probably in Florida, having a great time. I was a dancer and I saw an advert in the stage newspaper for a job with a traveling circus. I was only 17. We went to Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, El Salvador and Costa Rica. I was working as a dancer and a magician's assistant. I was away for just under a year and there was war going on in some of the countries we visited, but I was too excited to get homesick. I came back a totally different person. I'm a great advocate of travel. The casting director saw me when I was the understudy for Madame Thenardier in Les Miserables in the West End. She asked me to go in. Eight auditions later, I got the job of Jane Beale. Your daily horoscope for Tuesday, January 18, 2022 Hedgelaying is the unexpected way you can help nature, here's how to do it get ready for the day with your daily horoscope for Sunday, January 16, 2022 Adam, obviously, and I'm very good friends with Letitia Dean. I've stayed in contact with Shane Ritchie and I've been out with Jesse Wallace a few times. But it's the same with any job, you're thick as thieves, and then you move to another job and you make another set of mates to go on a Norwegian cruise with my daughter and see the Northern Lights. I've always wanted that to be a memory for her and me, and one that when I'm no longer here she will remember. Laurie Brett stars in the Turing production of Peter James' novel Looking Good Dead from January 25. More EastEnders star Tamsin Althwaite's boyfriend rushed to